Pora pora sne gang to po if na tema ba already no we need building men in the building to na mess with me uh before you continue to watch this video make sure that you click on the subscribe button you click on the like button and you share this video with your friend and as as well drop a comment to say what you think about this video so yeah the um the live trading at forest chasers so yesterday was one of those uh, good days that we had guys we took a, ni a nice uh, sell uh, opportunity on USD on USD uh so i'm just gonna take you through so that you can be able to see what was the thought process behind me how did i go about my top down analysis and how did i go about finding the uh, setup so first things first guys you need to understand where the market is going on what on a bigger time frame so you can see guys that we do have these highs here on our uh, 50 minute time frame and then we do have these lows here and you can see guys that uh, what's happening now is that the market is pushing to the downside making this uh, what this uh, impulsive move and then we start to see market doing this retracement so my chance is that price is going to continue pushing to the downside are uh, obviously a bit more higher compared to price pushing to the upside we're not saying price cannot push to the upside after this what correction but the chances because you know that uh, trading is all about probabilities so now guys, as you can see price was uh, making this uh, what this uh, retracement to the upside as you can see some those people who are trading pricing they will say first touch second touch and then probably third touch and then we're expecting price to do what to do a reversal but then again you can see that we do have this recent high that was formed by price before price uh, decided to push to the downside and then we do have this area here so what i'm what i'm, I'm basically doing guys i'm highlighting those areas where price came to tap into those areas and then passed away you see that even here price came to tap and passed away came to tap and passed away came to tap and passed away so i'm um, actually uh, highlighting those errors for me those key errors where price is touching those errors and then impassing away of those errors so that means those are important key errors for me to focus on so you can see guys, that those are the clear errors for me for now those are the most clear errors for me for now. So uh, uh, yeah, I can uh, I can also take this one for multiple touches. I can also take this one for multiple touches. Uh, yeah. So uh, the thing is, I don't really remember how did I draw my zones from yesterday. But uh, let me just make this one big. Uh, how did I draw my zones from yesterday? But um, yeah. So I'm just gonna take it through, and then I'm gonna show you why. But then I take the, the, the I took the cell because I still remember why I took the cell it has been on my plan. For the longer time so when i'm drawing my zones i usually take the candlestick um body uh, i usually take the candlestick body instead of the candlestick uh, weeks so i'm just gonna remove this one here uh you already saw that zone that i throw from that side and then uh, here i'm gonna take this uh, body of these candles here i'm just trying to catch it it's running away okay got it yeah so you can see that we have this area here i'm just gonna remove this now okay I'm just gonna remove this now and then again uh you can guys see that uh, you guys can see that we do have this area here which is very important here i'm just gonna take this candle here and then um raise this and then again guys you can see that we do have this area here so i'm just gonna take this and remove this and then uh, last but not least, last last one. I'm just gonna take here. Uh, I would I would uh, take this whole uh, red candle. I would take this whole red candle, but it wouldn't make sense. It's too big, so I just prefer putting it here. So I know that if price uh, pre no, rejects uh, in this era, anyway in this era, I know that it rejected in this zone. But then if it breaks, I know that this is the most important part that price has to break for me to see the breakout here, just below. So that's the most important part for me to be looking out for here. So you can see here that now uh, we are in five minute time frame, and then price uh, is uh, recently uh, making this uh, what this type of resistance that was formed here by price. As you can see, we formed this resistance here just a minor resistance. So guys, uh, with this strategy, this scalping strategy, one thing that we have to understand is that uh, we have to focus on the most recent uh, key uh, levels. So you can see that uh, this was uh, 25 pass. So you can see that price did close uh, somewhere here, did close somewhere here in some sort of like uh, a breakout. It is a breakout, guys, of this uh, what of this level, just this minor level. As you can see, price did close below this minor level. But if you can check clearly, you can see that price 
uh, closed in between this level and this level. So it closed in the middle of this level and this level. So what do you wait for after price has done that? You wait for price to probably come to these areas to test it or come to these areas to test it before moving into your what into your intended direction. So now as you can see, uh, we didn't really enter at the close of this candle. Uh, this is a uh, 25 past candle. We literally uh, waited for price to push, um, come to test these errors here. Price did come, came to test these errors, did give us a nice retest of this error here. And then that's when you entered our, what our uh, cells, that's when you entered our cells. I've uh, entered very, very nice trade to the downside, super, super nice, hit our TP within a blink of like what 10 minutes we already hit our tp because our tp was somewhere here at the, at the bottom caught about uh, let me just see on this position we caught about um overall about a thousand pips which is about a hundred and something points uh super super nice trade and simple um yeah so th that was basically the trade and uh on your state to then uh, going to nasdaq we didn't call a trade but uh, we did have something to look out for uh, as you can see on our 50 minute time frame we do have this level of resistance which is support now because you can see that price has been respecting it as a resistance and eventually broke above it so we do have this level as well price created this uh, level as well and then uh, we do have this level as well here as you can see so guys these are the clearest and most uh, visible level that i can have on what on nasdaq as you can see and then going to my five minute time frame because remember guys this is a scalping strategy so we don't trade based on 15 minutes but on five minutes so you can see that i'm just going to take these errors here that's going to take this overall error here and then um, i'm just going to take this candle here these bodies of these candles here and then uh, i'm just going to take these bodies of these candles here the bodies of these candles here super super nice and then here as well i'm gonna take the bodies of this area here so yeah guys so that was uh, about 10, 10 pass and then uh for a pass 20 pass 25 pass so price came into this area at 25 pass couldn't break below this area i would have been maybe called a buy here on the stack but then uh it shot to the downside next like really shot to the downside this is being me calling for a buy was because of the sell price didn't really break uh, below this era here so that's one of the reasons i would have called the buy but price it really did push to the downside uh super super impulsively to the downside so yeah guys thank you so much for staying in tuning into the session uh, it's me your boy Fanaka Mamba. I'm out of this uh, building. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and you like and you share this video with your friends. We out.